Right, here we go, running my first bit of code running on a Vectrex. Um, I still really don't know what the hell I'm doing, and I am sort of making it up as I go along. Um, but I managed to get this. Uh, Vic lent me his Hutchinson cart, and I managed to add my little program to it and build a menu. Um, and it it's running on the Vectrex. It doesn't do anything amazing, but here it is. It's called Isometric. And there you go, and it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Uh, just an 8 by grid, which is the sort of play space you need to do if you were going to try and do Spin Dizzy on the Vectrex, which is what I might try and do. I'm using the BIOS draw routines, I mean, it's pretty bad. It's not flickering that much. I think the video is um, making it look like it flickers less than what it is. And I'm obviously, I'm overdrawing because I'm basically drawing 64 uh, isometric rectangles there. And you obviously, to draw that grid, you don't need that many. But I'll have to be very clever about how I build up an isometric display on the Vectrex. Going to have to use some sort of depth. I don't know whether culling is going to be possible or whether I need to pre pack level data, which is what I might end up doing. Although, if you can do four different views, pre packing data is not too easy for that. Not and get lots of levels. So, I'll have to think about how quick that is. Um, I'll have to test. I'll have to write my Z80 routines in 6, 8, or 9, see, if, see how fast they are in comparison. I don't want it to be too slow. If it takes a couple of frames to recalculate a view, I can probably suffer that. Okay, there you go. I'm quite amazed it even bloody works on the Vectrex. Uh, major thanks to uh, Malvan for his brilliant Vide emulator. Couldn't have done it without him. It's great. Okay, thank you very much.